Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up everybody, e Rivera Knight for bringing another action figure review and today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Marvel's Lizard Build-A-Figure Wave. This is Spider-Woman. Spider-Woman coming with the torso, the bigger piece in this Lizard Build-A-Figure Wave. We have just the piece and then Spider-Woman right there. Picture of her on each side of the box. The back of the box is your standard Marvel Legends box with the rest of the wave there, along with Lizard, and then they read up that says Spider-Woman uses heightened senses and powerful Venom Blast to strike down any enemies of justice. Again, if you are looking for this wave, you can hit up Bit Bad Toy Store, got the link in the description below where you guys can check it out. all you get with Spider-Woman. All you get is just the figure. It's all you get if you don't count the lizard build the figure. No accessories, no extra hands or faces, nothing like that. Uh, what you see is what you get here. And we have Spider-Woman sporting what I feel like we've gotten this body mold a billion times before. So it's nothing new here. Uh, it's the same articulation and everything. Here's a quick look at the lizard torso. He does come with a removable jacket or coat uh, right here. So that comes off. And then you just have a ripped up shirt underneath, which looks pretty nice. So stay tuned for my lizard review. Anyways, taking a closer look at Spider-Woman. He's sporting these really cool looking glasses here. And I did not know, but they are actually removable. So I don't know if you want to count this as an accessory. But that does remove. And that's uh, pretty nice how that looks. So once you put it on, it doesn't look uh, goofy or anything like that. It looks pretty good. It almost looks like it was molded on there. So I like how they executed that right there. So there's the spider logo right there on the front of the chest and then the back is red and orange. So looking at the articulation, like I've mentioned already, we've seen this before. So left and right on the head, up and down as much as the hair will allow it to go. And then the arms do go forward and back. There's no bicep swivel. Arms go in and out. There's a swivel at the elbow and there's a hinge at the elbow. Only a single jointed elbow there. Wrist does hinge and swivel. There's a diaphragm joint that swivels and goes forward and back slightly. No waist swivel. T-jointed legs go forward and back. They go in and out. Thigh swivels. Double jointed knees. And then we do have ankles that hinge forward and back and they pivot. And that's it. Here she is next to Mysterio and Lasher from the same wave. We can see the height differences there. So that does it. That concludes the review on Spider-Woman. Definitely one of the less... Uh, exciting releases in this wave just not really much to offer for $20 here uh, she doesn't come with much so keep that in mind only the build figure piece here and, and the same old body mold with the same articulation if you can dig it then this is a figure for you so I thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already as always have a great day Bye.